37. What is the half-life of the first order decay of carbon-14? Then they give us a reaction with carbon-14, atomic number of 6, right? And this carbon-14 will break down, it will decompose into nitrogen. And then it throws away an electron. But they tell us that the rate constant for this decay is 1.21 times 10 to the negative fourth years. Okay, so we want to find out the half-life. Well, what exactly is a half-life? Well, anytime that we're talking about a half-life, it's always represented by t half. So anytime that you see this lowercase t, that's a time. But specifically, a half-life has to have the one-half as a subscript. Now, a half-life is basically representative as how much time it would take to take a sample, let's just say that you have 100% of a sample, how much time would it take to take that sample and divide it by two? It's essentially, you're breaking it up in half. And now you have 50%. Whenever you're going from a percentage to half of that, that's the time, how much time it takes, that's the half-life. So if, you know, I join a pizza eating contest, right, and I need to eat pizza as fast as I can, and here's my pizza, my pizza, you know, my New York pizza, right, got a slice. Uh, anyway, <laughs> come to New York, the pizza's good. <laughs> anyway, but you have to have good toppings on it. My toppings on a pizza... We got to go with oregano, salt, and garlic. It's a game changer. It is a game changer. You can't have pizza without it. Oregano, salt, and garlic. Next time, try it out. Garlic powder, little oregano, little salt. Mmm, really good. But anyway, <laughs> am I from New York? I don't know. But anyway, let's keep going. So we have a pizza, pizza pie, right? And it takes me, I'm in a contest, it takes me 30 seconds to go and eat <laughs> the uh, half of the pizza. If it took me 30 seconds to take this one whole pizza, you know, pizza pie and eat half of it, that's the half-life. Okay, so that's basically what T-half is. Just the amount of time it takes to go from one percentage to half of that. Now, we come down here and we say, well, there's three half-life equations that you probably have to memorize, depending on what order we have. So always look back in the question to see, okay, am I going to do the second, uh, sorry, the zero-order equation, the first-order equation, and the second-order equation? Well, let's see. It says, what's the half-life for the first-order decay? There it is. They told it to us. First order decay is always the half-life, T half, equals 0 0.693, that's the ln of 2, divided by K. So I'm just going to pull this up, which means that the other formulas we don't need. So if you do need to write these other formulas down, pause the video. But goodbye. Because now we're just trying to find out that half-life. 0.693 is a constant. And it's divided by k, which is the rate constant. Did they tell us a rate constant? Yes, they did. They said the rate constant decays at 1.21 times 10 to the negative fourth per year. But we have that number. 10 to the negative fourth. Years to the minus 1. All right, so let's plug it in and see what we get. T half equals... Let's see, we got that fraction, 0 0.693 on the top, ln of k, 1.21 times 10 to the negative fourth on the bottom, calcium time, 0.693 divided by 1.21, second comma, that's times 10 to the, and I put negative four, just making sure that these numbers look good. Looks good to me, press enter. Wowsies. Now, for uh, sig fig purposes, I do see three sig figs here, so chances are we do need three sig figs. So I'm just going to put this in scientific notation. So we'll say 
seven, three times 10 to the one, two, three. Whoa. That's a big number. 5,730. What though? Days, years, months? The unit for the time, the half-life it takes, is always going to correspond with the unit of time that is given in your rate constant. So, in the rate constant, it was given as a year. So the time here would have to be in years. Whoa! 5,730 years it takes for carbon to decompose? Yes, it does. Long time. But that's the answer to this question. I hope this helped. Um, if it did, please hit the subscribe button. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers at the moment. Um, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much for being so cool. You guys rock. And I'm really glad that these videos are helping you out. I love making these videos for you guys. My brother and I, we do love helping you guys out. And just keep learning. All right? I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.